Okay. Originally, I made a video on the hard light, I think like two weeks ago, and then everyone in the comment section was just telling me I was dumb because apparently it's getting changed. And that change that ended up happening happened like four days ago. And um, from that time on, I, I dealt with a ton of videos in my inbox saying, oh, your hard light is so good now. Oh, here, so there's there were a lot of videos about this gun because now when you shoot it, it no longer, uh, it no longer gives you a, a brain aneurysm. I'm not sure whose idea it was to add that in the first place, but now it is gone and the gun is significantly better. The perks haven't changed though. You can still swap between any elemental type you want, but for PVP, that doesn't really matter. On top of that, if you don't know what the exotic perk is already, it is volatile light. Rounds fired from this weapon have no damage fall off, over penetrate targets and ricochet off of hard surfaces. Projectile damage increases after the bounce. And a few people pointed this out to me in my last video saying that like, oh, you know, you're so not, this gun has unlimited range, which is true. You're not going to get any damage drop off, but realistically with how much recoil it had, am I going to challenge a pulse rifle or a scout rifle that is 80 meters away from me? No. That doesn't make any sense. So though it technically had infinite range, it, it didn't really have great range. Also keep in mind that it's been a week since this update came out and I have not touched the gun since. Um, I feel dumb for making a video on it like two weeks ago, but at the end of the day, that was just, you know, it, it was an absolutely genius move by me because I get to add revenue from that video and then I can just pull the, the a Bungie classic, a little Destiny 2 classic and just recycle the same exact thing and shit it out a few weeks later and Voila, it's a brand new video idea. Oh, what? Oh, okay. All right. What the f what the f was that? This guy just sent me to the shadow realm with his spare rations, dude. What is this? Okay. Whew. Why? Uh, I've literally fought the same exact guy the last six times. They're putting my little limp hard light against this big just monster spare rations also uh this is my first time using the revoker actually why is everyone connection so bad i will say that, that having this infinite infinite range thing is actually it actually kind of slaps oh pathetic little last word man Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Is this a, I didn't even know. Is this like one of those, uh, this is like the RPM that those really old people use, huh? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no. Is it a 72, 72 RPM sniper? Is he in this corner still? Holy, this guy's God tier patience. Yeah. Like, I I'm definitely struggling in gunfights, but I'm fighting against, like, kids from Guatemala using spare rations with, like, the most advanced perk lineup the the ever to be seen by anyone on this planet. But the infinite range thing is actually super nice. As auto rifles, once, you know, once you get a little too far away, see, ah! this guy. This guy, not too fast, is just really serving me up right now. Uh, I've, there was a major lack of foresight by me. I didn't have all of my my, my rifle, you know, my my sub, my auto rifle spec armor on. It was the only reason why I fell short in that rumble match. So now I'm totally, I'm totally gonna be very much winning the next few games. I just realized that was supposed to be me flexing my perks, but I got scatter rifle projectile targeting. Like that's, that's so bad. <laughs> that's so bad. I can still beat people a lot of times in fights, but as you can see, I mean, I don't know how many clips I'll end up putting. It's this guy, this guy right here. He just shovels the shit down my throat every single time with his spare rations. Like there's, there's essentially nothing you can do. <laughs> Like that guy, I'm, I'm melting because he, he did not hit his shots. Yeah. But a lot of other people, I, I kind of want to take this into classic mix because I can avoid as many gunfights as possible. Like, look at that. It's, I'm, I'm melting him. Throw some flames Ooh. down. It, uh, oh my God. Look at this balding old piece of shit. Like he's going to charge up his little handheld supernova. Look at him. Look at this guy. 
Look at it. Look. At it. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got to take up in my pants when I. Oh, this is my first time. I don't really like the revoker, but at the nope. same time. Oh, okay. It was a good shot. I don't really like the revoker, but I don't have like any other kinetic option for sniping. So I'm, I'm kind of just forced to use it at this point. To a certain extent, no matter how good you make a weapon, if you're going to go up against someone with spare rations, with the adequate perks and in, in mods, like to suit that weapon, you're going to get shit on regardless. Dude, I can't escape him. Oh! Okay, you can't even de deny that. That was an absolute cobra. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was like a really good strategy. It really worked, but uh, I prevailed. Okay, so see sometimes if they actually miss their shots, nope. oh, if they're actually missing their shots, you can, you can, you know, you can do a little something, but when they're not, it's just, it's essentially impossible. But at that rate, that kind of just goes for any other weapon that's not a hand cannon. So it's not, it's not really something I can hold against the hard light in particular. And then like in situations like that, having the infinite range is definitely pretty tight. It's so satisfying too, just to not see just to not see the numbers go down like at all. This thing, oh, look at him, look at him. No, it didn't fall, it didn't shoot. Oh. Holy. Oh, don't dance. Oh, don't. Dude, he just stole my moves. My lawyers will be after his ass any day. Like, uh, pal, maybe if you spent less time teabagging me, you wouldn't be at the bottom of the scoreboard. Oh, I love this spot. This is my favorite spot. <laughs> Wait, no, of, of course. Of course, as soon as I turn, somebody comes over. Calling collusion on that, dude. It's blatantly obvious. There we go. It's just hard. I don't know. I mean, I like it. It's enjoyable to me. And it's also nice how there's just, I mean, I've said it a million times, but the no damage fall off thing, I didn't really feel was that important before because the gun just didn't feel like a laser. It felt like even at that range, there's just so much recoil on your screen that you weren't really able to take full advantage of it, not losing any range or losing any damage at range. But now that it's just a complete laser, it's, it's really nice. <laughs> Oh, I just put the moves on you, son. Now I'll put the moves on you for a second time. Boom. This one will be interesting because I can see if I just like, if I just sit on this nice little log over here. Oh, I might be able to just destroy everyone. Dude, everyone's throwing grenades at me. He's so weak. All right. That made it easy, I guess. Ooh. Okay, that, that almost that almost could have been real cool. We have a Diane and Irene here, which sounds a lot less like a gaming clan and a lot more like the, the names of members of a senior citizen book club. Oh, I'm, I'm coming to get you, Irene. Like, there definitely less shots start registering at that range, but it's still a good amount. 
and i feel like before that oh my god before that recoil change they're probably like uh probably like only a few of those would have hit so like i was saying it definitely helps the teammates putting on an absolute show okay so that is pretty much it i mean the gun has changed a significant amount the main problem is that guns that aren't hand cannons generally there's a there's a limit to how well they can do so it's, it's hard to push beyond that because this gun does really well in most situations but if you fight a good player with like a spare rations or, or any good hand cannon you're probably gonna get dumped on like every other time when you tried using a gun that wasn't a hand cannon but overall it's good i like the stability change i think it works really well with the uh with the perk where it, it has infinite range essentially but yeah that's that's really all that's changed it's definitely significantly better though so if you did enjoy the video then a good way to support the channel is by dropping a like or even dropping a comment in some situations and if you're already subbed and you want to make sure that you don't miss a video then you can click on the bell you can either enable post notifications or just click the bell and have it so you don't get post notifications um youtube pretty much made it so that the only way you can guarantee videos hitting your sub box is by hitting the bell in some capacity so you can you can do either one of those and hopefully i'll see you in the next one